Hey everybody, Mario Fontana from Hot Damn here. Um, Travis sent out an email saying people are having trouble uh, getting a direct link to their website. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that with a video here. Uh, first thing I want to say is that uh, Kintera has a lot of tools, but what they really want to do is try and funnel you through your Facebook account or your Twitter account. And while that's fine if you want to log in and do that, not everyone does Facebook or Twitter a lot, or um, some people want to really customize a message. And so I'm going to give you a way to kind of get the website and make your own uh, hyperlink so it's a lot easier to send out to friends and family and uh, you can make it however you want. So what you want to do, go ahead, get on the main page here and go to sponsor participant. You just want to find yourself. Um, so in this case I'm going to just find, we made a team page this year. So I'm going to look for the hot damn team page. Um, hopefully it'll pop up here in a second. So here I'm just going to put in Hot Damn as the team name and find uh, Team Hot Damn. This is my page that we made. So we're going to go ahead and this is the this is our main link. This is something that was not directed. And I wanted one thing if I didn't mention it already, don't sign in. I found the link, you know, just as if I'm just a patron who does not have a login to this website. So make sure you're not signed in. Um, you want to go ahead, take the whole link and copy it. Copy the entire thing. And then, just to prove that this is going to sign in, here's another browser that's also not logged in, uh, Chrome. And if I click on this, this is going to bring me right to the Hot Damn page. This is the link I want to send to people. Now, this is a very long link, and it's frustrating to kind of throw this into an email or anything. We can shorten it up, and the way we can shorten it up, we can go to a website called tinyurl.com, and what this does is takes a really long URL, which is a website address, and makes it smaller. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this website, and then I'm just going to make it really easy to remember. And uh, I've already used 2013 Hot Damn and Hot Damn 2013, so I'm just going to, you know, make something up here. We'll say it's... Um, Hot damn, 1999. And you can make it even easier than this, but let's say it was, you know, 14 years ago. Hot damn, 1999. I go ahead and if I make the tiny URL, um, a tiny URL is created. So now this tinyurl.com slash hot damn 1999 is the URL that I use. And then just to kind of prove that this is going to bring me to the right place, I'm going to again paste in tinyurl.com slash hot damn 1999, hit return, and once again that brings me right here. So now if you want to make it easy, let's say you're talking to someone, you know, you don't want to say, hey, go to Kintero Travis Roy Foundation, find my team. You can just say, hey, tinyurl.com slash hot damn 1999. You can write it down on a piece of paper for them. You can send it an email. I've been doing a, a lot of customized you know, internet memes that I've been putting the URL on for us. Um, there's a lot of different ways. Here's one that I did. This is very goofy um, as, as this opens up. But uh, you can actually, what's easy, what I find gets people's attentions on social networking is if I put in a picture. And so um, I found a series of humiliating photos from when I was a child. And, uh, and I, this is actually me when I'm one. It's my mom's favorite picture. And uh, I've actually taken our own tiny URL and used 2013 Hot Damn. And this is a way to just get people to be thinking about the website. So that's a way to, you know, get your website and, you know, not have it be such a pain in the butt. It's just much easier this way. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please email me at thefont9 at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks.